Hey guys, this is Brian Mounts. I run TurfMechanic.com. I run this channel, and today we're going to be talking about this lawn. More specifically, we're going to be leveling this lawn. And here's the kicker. We're not going to use a leveling rake because there is a huge mistake that people make when leveling lawns. Most of the time, most of the time, you don't need a leveling rake. Let's explain. All right, as you can see, this is the project lawn that I've been working on this year with a friend of mine. This lawn looks like it has had better days, but you'll notice that it's nice and green, and that's because we did a heavy fertilization exactly 14 days ago, two weeks, maybe 15 days. I'd have to check the calendar. We also put down weed killer, so a lot of these little weeds have died. Um, and you see all this browning. This is basically just dead stuff that, uh, that died off with the weed kill. The important thing to talk about here is if you're going to be leveling a lawn in any extent, like to any extent, you have to fertilize heavily and you're going to have to get the soil really wet and moist before you put topsoil down. As you can see here, even though we're experiencing 90 degree days, our soil is moist, wet, and the grass is growing. This is the perfect time to put down topsoil to start a leveling project. And the whole point here is we don't want perfection. We don't want perfection. A perfectly flat lawn is really only useful for magazine covers and for all of those people who like to pull out the real mowers and mow the grass at half an inch. The vast majority of people don't want to do that. And honestly, it's virtually impossible to do that with a rotary mower. Most rotary mowers, which is what the vast majority of people in the country use, only go down to about one and three eighths of an inch at the lowest setting. Many of them don't go below one and a half inches. So if you're leveling a lawn with just basic hand tools that everyone already has, you're gonna be able to experience a lawn that's much flatter without having to go out and buy extra tools. So today we're gonna to be putting down a whole bunch of topsoil out here. We're gonna be spreading it on. I'm gonna show you how it's done, what it looks like in the end. Is that a bunch of dirt? Yeah, it's a lot of dirt. Yeah, as I was looking at the video that I did uh, and comparing it to the first one before we sprayed, you could tell that everything had like yellowed out and started getting, not quite white, but in, getting closer. But now it's just really gone. These were the strongest weeds of them all. They're, they're really close. All right, I'm gonna take a moment to catch my breath here while we're spreading dirt around. Dirt's heavy, guys, um, even with wheelbarrows. This right here is push broom. Now, I bring this up because nobody in the lawn care space on the YouTubes gives these things the credit that they, that they deserve. I featured on this channel uh, just in the month, uh, just in the springtime here, 2021, uh, me using a push broom on the lawn a bunch of times. Uh, there are lots of reasons to use a push broom in addition to cleaning your garage floor. Right now, instead of going out to buy a lawn leveling rake, which can be, depending on the size of rake that you get, anywhere from, you know, 50 to $200, uh, just grab a push broom. This really is not complicated. We're not trying to win awards with perfect flatness. Uh, we're not gonna be building like high precision machines on our flat lawn here. What we want is we want lawn space that does not have big obvious holes in it that people are tripping on when they walk. 
we want our lawns to be flat enough to be able to take a rotary mower over them on an inch and a half, which is the lowest setting without like the blade scalping the ground, hitting rocks and things like that. Other than that, you really don't need anything fancy unless you want to put a putting green down, which lots of people do want to do that. So in that case, you probably will want a lawn leveling rake. But for the vast majority of homeowners, you just don't need to, to do that extra expense. Get your dirt. We are using this screened uh, topsoil. It's a sandy topsoil mix uh, just made locally here at a local nursery. Um, it's got a lot of sand in it and it's got some uh, organic matter in there. Uh, so that is going to slowly break down and feed the soil, but the sand inside it is going to make sure that it doesn't settle too much over time as organic matter breaks down. We spread this stuff over the low areas. Um, I have an entire video about fixing uh, a low spot in your lawn. Like if you have a, a particularly low spot where you don't need to do anything major, uh, any sort of major overhaul to fix it. Um, I'll link to that down in the description below. But while we're fixing a lawn like this, this is a larger scale project, although it's still not that big of a deal. It took more time to go get the soil than it does to spread it over the lawn. This is a thousand square feet and uh, me and Robbie are just getting the job done in about an hour's time. Now we're going to be brushing it in with the push broom and that basically serves as the leveling rake. You don't need to get a leveling rake if you already have a push broom. That's the whole point of this video. Uh, this is also to document the uh, improvement on this yard space without spending a whole lot of money. Um, hey, Robbie. Yeah. How much did that, that cubic yard of topsoil cost you? I think $36. 36 bucks. $36. All it took to buy the soil, all of the tools, we just got regular garden shovels, flexible rakes, and a push broom. Nothing extra is needed to be purchased. So. Uh, we're going to get back to finishing out, kind of flattening things out, smoothing them over. I don't want to call it a perfect leveling job. This is a smoothing of the surface. And it's going to look great in the end. Nobody is really going to look at this lawn and think to themselves, oh man, that thing isn't flat at all. Nobody will ever think that. Whoa, I just pulled a rabbit. Daddy. Mm. That's a boy. That's a boy. I All right, after one cubic yard of soil has been spread out on this lawn, it's hard to capture a wide angle shot showing improvement, but there are far fewer divots in this lawn space than there were uh, just an hour ago. Now, what's gonna happen is we're gonna be putting on the sprinkler, um, a little bit later today or maybe tomorrow morning because it's pretty hot right now and we're gonna get this soil to the soil sand mixture to settle down even further even further into the ground point is we don't want to put down like an enormous amount of soil all at once because then we're gonna be mulching down what grass is there everything that is there is heavily fertilized at this point which is why it's starting to grow and it's pretty green at this point compared to two weeks ago if we smother it, then we're wasting uh, the last two weeks worth of progress. So uh, one cubic yard of soil, it's gonna go into the low spots since a lot of those low spots don't have grass growing there anyway. So it's gonna smooth out the surface of the ground a little bit, but it's not gonna stifle the growth of the grass. Now, possibly in another month or so, we might come back and add more soil to continue leveling it out. Now again, if you haven't watched my uh, fix a low spot in the lawn video, I suggest that you do that because the whole point of that is to bring up the level of the low spots incrementally, slowly. So long as your grass is growing, it will grow up through soil that you put down on top of it, and then you can level it again. I'm gonna come back out tomorrow or the next day after we get a good deep watering on this and after we trim some of the grass blades back a little bit and after some of this dirt settles down so we can kind of see where we're at right now then we'll reassess in another few weeks to a month to see if we need any more soil at 36 dollars a yard it's not that big of an investment really it's just about two hours of time one to go get the soil and one to spread it 
anyway i hope this video is interesting and helpful and follow along for the rest of this lawn yard renovation uh, over the 2021 season we got a playlist that i've started you can watch all the material on the playlist uh, probably right up in here if you need to fertilize for a lawn leveling project definitely take a look in the description below i got a link over to my website where i kind of outline the process for uh, fertilizing and preparing the soil that's already there for the growth of new grass through new soil uh, the whole leveling process uh, anyway thanks for watching i'll see you in another video